Welcome to The Awakening, Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny. Watch this video until the end. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I go live or I upload a new video. Illinois, a state known for its progressive values, is bracing itself for a potential clash with the Trump administration. With a Democratic governor, a Democratic-controlled legislature, and a large immigrant population, Illinois stands as a stark contrast to the policies espoused by President Trump. As Trump embarks on his second term, Illinois Democratic leaders are preparing for a fight to protect their constituents and their state's values. Governor J.B. Pritzker, a vocal critic of Trump, has vowed to use all the tools at his disposal to resist any federal actions he deems harmful to Illinois. He has promised to protect the rights of immigrants, defend access to health care, and uphold environmental regulations. And I'm here today to remind people that no matter the storm that we face, Illinois will always strive to make you welcome and safe and protected. Chaos, retribution, and disarray radiated from the White House the last time Donald Trump occupied it. Perhaps this time may be different. But if it isn't, Illinois will remain a place of stability and competent governance. Through his repeated Pritzker's stance reflects the deep concern among many Illinoisans about the potential impact of Trump's policies on their lives. Attorney General Kwame Raoul, another staunch opponent of Trump, is assembling a legal team to challenge any federal overreach. Raoul has indicated that he is prepared to file lawsuits and join forces with other states to block Trump's agenda. The battle lines are being drawn setting the stage for a high-stakes confrontation between Illinois and the federal government. Governor Pritzker has made it clear that protecting the rights of all Illinoisans, particularly immigrants, is a top priority. He has reaffirmed Illinois' status as a sanctuary state, meaning that local law enforcement agencies will not cooperate with federal immigration authorities in most cases. Pritzker has also vowed to fight any attempts to roll back access to abortion or limit LGBTQ rights. Beyond social issues, Pritzker has also pledged to protect Illinois' economic interests. He has criticized Trump's trade policies, arguing that they harm Illinois businesses and farmers. Pritzker has also expressed concern about potential cuts to federal funding for infrastructure projects in Illinois. Pritzker's stance has earned him praise from progressive activists and Democratic lawmakers, who see him as a bulwark against Trump's agenda. However, his stance has also drawn criticism from Republicans and conservative groups, who accuse him of overstepping his authority and putting Illinois at odds with the federal government. Attorney General Kwame Raoul is not shying away from using the courts to challenge Trump's policies. Raoul, a former civil rights attorney, has argued that Trump's actions on immigration, health care, and the environment violate the Constitution and harm the interests of Illinois residents. He has filed numerous lawsuits against the Trump administration, often in conjunction with other states led by Democratic attorneys general. One of Raoul's primary targets has been Trump's immigration policies. Raul has challenged the Trump administration's attempts to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA program, which protects young immigrants brought to the United States illegally as children from deportation. He has also sued to block the Trump administration's travel ban targeting citizens from several Muslim-majority countries. Raul's legal challenges have had mixed success in the courts. Some of his lawsuits have been dismissed, while others have been allowed to proceed. Regardless of the outcome, Raul's aggressive legal strategy sends a clear message that Illinois will not back down from a fight with the Trump administration. Illinois' large and vibrant Latino community is on the front lines of the battle over Trump's immigration policies. Many Latinos in Illinois live with the fear that they or their loved ones could be targeted for deportation. Immigrant rights groups have mobilized to provide legal assistance and support to those facing deportation and to organize protests against Trump's policies. Despite the climate of fear and uncertainty, Illinois' Latino community remains a source of strength and resilience. Latino leaders have spoken out forcefully against Trump's rhetoric and policies and have vowed to defend their communities. They have also emphasized the importance of civic engagement, 
urging eligible immigrants to become citizens and vote. The Latino community's activism is crucial in a state like Illinois, where Latinos make up a significant portion of the population. Their voices and their votes will be critical in determining the outcome of the political battles to come. Section 5, Defying Deportation, A Fight for Immigrant Rights. Illinois has a long history of welcoming immigrants, and that tradition continues today. The state is home to numerous organizations that provide legal aid, social services, and advocacy for immigrants. These organizations are working tirelessly to protect immigrants from deportation and to help them navigate the complex immigration system. One such organization is the National Immigrant Justice Center, or NIJC, which provides legal representation to immigrants facing deportation. The NIJC also advocates for policy changes that would create a more humane and just immigration system. Another key organization is the Illinois Coalition for Immigrant and Refugee Rights, or ICIRR, which mobilizes immigrant communities to advocate for their rights. The work of these organizations is more important than ever in the face of Trump's crackdown on immigration. They provide a lifeline to immigrants who are scared, confused, and unsure of where to turn for help. Their advocacy is essential in pushing back against Trump's policies and creating a more welcoming environment for immigrants. Section 6, Republican Hopes, Capitalizing on Shifting Demographics. While Democrats are gearing up for a fight with Trump, Illinois Republicans see an opportunity to make gains in the state. They point to Trump's victory in the 2016 presidential election as evidence that Illinois is not as solidly blue as it once was. They believe that Trump's message of economic populism and his hardline stance on immigration resonate with some voters in the state, particularly in downstate Illinois. Republicans are also hoping to capitalize on what they see as a growing divide between Chicago, which is overwhelmingly Democratic, and the rest of the state, which is more politically diverse. They believe that they can win over voters in suburban and rural areas who feel left behind by the Democratic Party. However, Republicans face an uphill battle in Illinois. Democrats hold supermajorities in both houses of the state legislature and control all statewide elected offices. To make significant gains, Republicans will need to overcome these structural disadvantages and convince voters that they offer a viable alternative to the Democratic Party. Section 7, A State in Flux, The Potential Impact of Trump's Agenda. Trump's presidency has created a great deal of uncertainty for Illinois. The state's economy, its environment, and the well-being of its residents are all potentially at risk. While it is still too early to say definitively what the long-term impact of Trump's policies will be, it is clear that Illinois is facing some significant challenges. One of the most immediate concerns is the potential impact of Trump's trade policies on Illinois' economy. Illinois is a major exporter of agricultural products, machinery, and other goods. Trump's tariffs on Chinese goods and his renegotiation of the North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, have already caused uncertainty and disruption for Illinois businesses. Another concern is the potential impact of Trump's environmental policies. Trump has rolled back numerous environmental regulations, including rules aimed at combating climate change. These rollbacks could have a negative impact on air and water quality in Illinois, as well as on the state's efforts to promote clean energy. Section 8, Environmental Concerns, Pushback Against Rollbacks. Illinois has a long history of environmental protection, and the state has made significant progress in recent years in reducing pollution and promoting clean energy. However, Trump's environmental rollbacks threaten to undermine this progress. One of the most concerning rollbacks is Trump's decision to withdraw the United States from the Paris Climate Agreement, an international agreement aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Illinois has its own ambitious goals for reducing emissions, but these goals will be more difficult to achieve without federal support. Trump has also rolled back numerous regulations on air and water pollution. These rollbacks could lead to increased smog and other forms of air pollution, which can cause respiratory problems and other health issues. They could also lead to increased pollution of Illinois' rivers and lakes, 
threatening drinking water supplies and harming wildlife. And I've always taken seriously my role as a happy warrior on behalf of this state. Even today, when I'm struggling with many of the difficult questions this election poses, my optimism for the future remains undiminished. Governing is hard work, but it's also important and challenging work. I refuse to let it grind me down. Setting the example for us all are the hardworking and decent people of Illinois who refuse to let the challenges they face grind them down. To anyone who intends to come take away the freedom and opportunity and dignity of Illinoisans, I would remind you that a happy warrior is still a warrior. You come for my people, you come through me. Section 9, a looming showdown, Illinois Democrats versus Trump's policies. The stage is set for a major showdown between Illinois Democrats and the Trump administration. With their control of state government, Illinois Democrats have vowed to resist Trump's agenda and protect the interests of their constituents. They have pledged to defend immigrants' rights, protect access to health care, uphold environmental regulations, and fight for economic fairness. However, Illinois Democrats face an uphill battle. Trump's policies are popular with some segments of the population, and Republicans are hoping to capitalize on these divisions. The outcome of this battle will have a profound impact on the future of Illinois. Black voters in Chicago vow to flip city red over migrant crime crises. Time for us to make a change. As Chicago residents battle various crises, including surging crime and an influx of migrants, Black voters are mobilizing to turn the city red and do away with far-left Democratic policies in the Windy City. Residents Cata Truss and Mark Carter spoke about their vow to turn the city red in 2024 and why they must steer away from Mayor Brandon Johnson's progressive policies during Fox and Friends First. The Democratic Party has always neglected to pay attention to the black community, Trust told host Todd Pirro on Friday. That is traditional, and because we have been so committed to supporting that party, they feel that they can continue to disrespect us, to marginalize us, to not hear our voices. Migrant encounters at southern border hit record 302K in December. Sources say Chicago has historically battled a crime crisis and more recently a migrant crisis as border towns bus and fly illegal immigrants to sanctuary sites around the nation, the Windy City included. Now, there are thousands of illegal immigrants seeking refuge in Chicago. Although residents have insisted the city cannot provide for any more asylum seekers with strained resources. More than 20,000 migrants have arrived in the city since August 2022, according to Fox 32 Chicago, and thousands are in shelters. These statements were made by Pritzker during Trump's 2016 election, and now his 2024 election as Trump Democratic nominee Kamala Harris. Trump has, has gained support in the Democratic stronghold of Chicago. Chicago did not flip red, but it is significantly less blue. Here is what one Illinois wrote in response to the poll numbers. The 52% of Illinois men supporting Harris versus 48% for Trump is nonsense. Nationally, this is flipped, with 53% of men supporting Trump to 37% supporting Harris. I think this poll overestimates her support in Illinois by several points. She's going to win Illinois, but at a margin, several points smaller than Biden or Clinton's win of Illinois. The stage is set for a major showdown between Illinois Democrats and the Trump administration. With a Democratic governor, a Democratic-controlled legislature, and a large immigrant population, Illinois stands as a stark contrast to the policies espoused by President Trump. But will the people of Chicago and Illinois remove the Democratics for Republicans or independents over issues such as immigration, which has harmed black Chicagoans in particular, and reparations for descendants of U.S. enslavement and Jim Crow? Only time will tell. This has been The Awakening. Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video.